Hello everyone, welcome to this video of Bryson's Aviation. Today I'm going to teach you how to fly the ILS in the X-Crafts E-175 here. Um, it's a little tricky in this plane, especially when it comes. I did did it wrong most most of the times I've landed, but I finally figured it out. So first of all, you need to find a plate. I'm using four flight to fly to fly it. Or you could go to Abitab and get get the um, approach course. So here we're gonna do nav one. We're doing a one one zero point seven. So one one zero, and then we're gonna drop this down to seven zero. That's going to be nav 1 and we're putting nav 2 on. And so when you get close enough that uh, down there should do it. And then you're going to switch your course to that heading. So approach course is 330. So I'm going to set it to 330. So, when, 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 because right now we're going to be turning on to Ben to hop on. Right now I'm descending down to 4,000, which is the altitude we have to be at at Ben. And then at Cole House, what do you got to be? It basically is just a step. So make sure over here you have nav 2 on. I usually fall off nav 2. Make sure this all competes. For example, right here, we had your slash 400 or 4000 right there. Make sure everything's on the correct. Judy as we don't need one right now we are supposed to be descending down to 16,000 but we're not right now I'm doing a manual descent you basically don't need anything all you need to do is FMS that's where you get your FMS then this and this one of those will turn this FMS right here into the um, localizer and it should pop up as like Boston right here and then make sure your NAV2 is on 110.7 you can switch it over NAV1 somehow but, you, but usually it's NAV2 you want to keep NAV2 on here and then down here you want to turn F2, it needs to have that blue button. VHF1 needs to be on and NAV2 needs to be on. So right now all you, all you have to do is just wait until you get to your to your your uh, your indicated. For example, ours is um, Ben. And that's where we're turning on to the final and so I'll go and get back to y'all when we turn there. Alright, so we are here at Barry, which is one before the bog, which is gonna be our final turn into Ben, which is gonna be the wait the first waypoint of the ILS. So everything's good. Right here I have the localizer on. Right here I I N D C So that means you have the localizer I do is just press this or one of these buttons, it'll switch it over to localizer one. 
should be good. I got the airport inside over there. So right now, I'm just going through everything, making sure. I'm at 4,000 right now. We're about to cross. We're about to cross Bog. So Bog is right here, straight to Ben. And then we just follow it in. I confirm it via the map. So I press in and I yeah one one zero point seven three three zero three three zero one one zero point seven. Sometimes some airports it's different than the actual life. We just had a wind shear there. Saw so that drop down from like two fifty to two thirty. That was a wind shear. Luckily that wasn't on final. So right now we are turning on to the final. So I can go ahead and switch it over to localizer one. And you can see we have both. It has confirmed it has caught it. So right now we are lining up. I'm gonna go ahead and arm the approach mode. Now you now you're pretty much set. You don't need to follow off the the altitude that is given on the plate. Kind of overshot it there, but uh, I've already got my auto brake. Go ahead and arm the spoilers. APU doesn't need to be on. Everything's good up here. Basically, all you do is now you just get into landing configuration. So I do that by starting off at. I start off as doing 200, and then add a notch in. I'm gonna put that nose down a little. There it is. 2,500 AGLs when you need to drop your gear. So Boston is 19, so I'll drop it around 2,700. So right now we are capturing the glide slope. Right here we got the purple uh, diamond. You know it needs to be on the on the box, the square. We've already got our our, la a, our lateral. You've already got the way decision height. Uh, it's 216, but we have to round it up, so it's going to be 220. 220 right there. And now so we have caught the. We have caught the. ILS. Usually, in like a clear day like this, I just like look out and see the runway right there. There's a ship. But now I'm going to go ahead and drop our speed down more. I'm going to drop it, already go and drop it down to our VREF, which is basically around like 130, 120. So right now I'm at flaps 2. I'm going to be working at it. I can go ahead and drop my gear if I need to, if the speed is... Too, but the speed brakes will just it works really works in this plane so right now we're dropping slowly we're at 30,000 2,000 or 200 more feet and we'll go ahead and drop the gear we're down to 130 Go around altitude is 3,000 feet, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this as 3,000. Go ahead and drop that gear. So, right now we're pretty much caught on the ILS, and usually on like a cloudy day, you can't see the runway, so you just hope that this, this follows it in. 
I am using the Boston Scenery Pack. Really like it. So right now we're at 160. I'm going to add another notch in. How do you know if you really need a notch? Is if your nose starts getting a little too high, that's when you need, that's when you're about to stall. And right now, I'm flaps four, turning to five. Go ahead and put it in the last notch. Just go ahead and drop it down to 123. That looks. You don't want it like like too low, like at 100, because then you're when you cut your power, you're going to instantly stall, and it's going to be a hard, hard landing. You don't want to go fast, or you'll float. So you got to keep it like right in here. One right now, one two three or one two two is good. Is that shit moving? It is moving. That's good. That's really cool. Basically, all you need. Is when you hit this, your dis I usually take the autopilot off at this decision height, either that or ten th or ten uh, thousand feet in the air. So right now we are pretty much cleared land. No aircraft taking the runway, even though I don't have world traffic on right now. Right now we are pretty much on course for the runway, and usually, if the weather is not good, you will probably still not see the runway. Altimeter is two nine nine five. It's one thing you gotta keep control of the altimeter. You gotta make sure it's always on point. Getting a little rocked around here. Winds are around 340 at 15 knots. Some aircraft, like in the triple, in the 737 or any other aircraft, it just, it does that automatically. All you do is just tur put in the nav. All you do is just put in the nav, and then basically you'll just fly it in. Here you actually have to turn on the localizer. And then if you want to like go to the go around, you have to set you have to set it to back to FMS and it'll follow it out. It's four hundred about to hit our decision height and we are getting rocked around. I'm gonna let our autopilot do its job. Continue, autopilot's off. Now this is where the fun part is. Oh, I make sure um, when you do disengage the autopilot, your speed and we might need to go around. Go ahead and just drop the speed. We are floating. There we go. Your speed brakes deployed and reversers are on. There we are on the ground here in Boston. Keep the yoke forward just because the way we went in a little, there a little fast. 60 ounces is going clean and we can let go of the. Going as fast, we don't want to suddenly pull the. Pull the plane up. Hey, uh, what's in the ears? November's up here. Go ahead and when you're about to stop like that, just go ahead and turn off your auto brake. So welcome to Boston. Look the time is eleven fifty. We're we actually have an on time arrival. Turn off of uh, November here. As we did miss the mic intersection, barely. And that's because of that we're gonna have a very long taxi through the Delta Gates. 
So that's basically the ILS for this aircraft. Please like and subscribe. If you want more, I'm going to try to do some more uh, videos, more uploads, more than I have been. Apparently our brake was on, so I'm go ahead and So, thank you for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye.